My name is Colleen, and this is my kitchen. I've struggled with my weight my entire life. After trying every diet in the book without any success, I came to the realization that diets don't work. I started my journey in January 2010 at a size 26W, weighing just over 300 pounds. By July 2011, I had lost over 120 pounds and reached my goal of a size 12, no W. And I have kept the weight off ever since. What's my secret? Eating healthy and moving more. Now I'm here to show you how you can make food that is healthy and delicious and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to be making our last fall dish of the season. Acorn squash are just about gone, so this is a great time to use up your last acorn squash before we launch into some really delicious and fresh spring cooking. Uh, so tonight we're going to be making a twice-baked acorn squash. We're going to stuff it with a really robust southwestern mixture. This is a vegetarian dish. I've always said that going vegetarian once or twice a week has been a cornerstone of my weight loss and, and how I've continued to keep the weight off. So this dish takes a little bit longer to cook uh, because it does take a while to prepare the squash. However, um, it's very easy to throw it together. So I hope that you'll give this one a try. It's very delicious. It starts with two pounds of acorn squash, and you can see these are fairly small, and each of these is going to feed two people, so this recipe is gonna feed four people total. And what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half right through the stem like that. So you can see I have a nice little shell here. And then what I'm gonna do is take a spoon and just use the side of the spoon to scrape out the seeds and the pulp and that leaves me with a little shallow um, bowl basically which is what we're going to end up stuffing a little bit later we want to cook the squash first to get it really tender Now that I have my acorn squash cut, the next thing I want to do is make a little bit of a glaze for them. And we're going to make a really dish, a really delicious chipotle lime glaze to roast these in for the first roast. So the first thing that's going to start with is the juice of one lime. You always want to roll your lime, or if you're using a lemon, you roll it first. That helps, it, uh, helps the juices flow a little better. I'm just going to juice that into a small mixing bowl here. And then to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. It's going to help it get a nice brown uh, glaze on the top there. Then I have a chipotle chili pepper in one teaspoon of that adobo sauce. I'm going to just scrape the sauce right into that mixture. And I'm going to use my knife to chop up the pepper. We want to mince it really fine. going to do is it's going to give it a nice bit of kick. It's going to add some heat to our dish. Once I have that together, I'm just going to take a whisk, very gently combine that up, make sure that oil really emulsifies into the lime juice and the chipotle sauce, the adobo sauce that the chipotle was in. Then I'm just going to take a pastry brush, make sure to get it loaded up with all kinds of flecks of those peppers that are in there, and brush that right over the tops of my, of my squash. Just like that. So once I have my squash all brushed up, nice and covered with this glaze, what I'm going to do is just 
put these in the oven. I just got them in a glass uh, baking dish. You can also put them on a baking sheet, like a cookie sheet. I'm going to put them in the oven. The oven is preheating to 375 and I'm going to bake them for about 40 to 45 minutes until I can take a fork and pierce the squash and it's nice and, and tender and, and scoopable as I like to say. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll, I'll come back here and show you um, how we stuff it once it's gone through the first baking cycle. Our southwestern style stuffing is going to start with one cup of loosely packed cooked brown rice. So this is a quarter cup of dry brown rice that I cooked in half a cup of water and it fluffed up to one cup of, of cooked brown rice. And again, that's loosely packed. And then I have half a cup of a non-fat cottage cheese. I'm using a non-fat here just to cut down on some fat grams and calories. Then I have half a cup of frozen roasted corn. And it comes in your freezer already roasted. Just add that in. Next up, I have half a cup of black beans. I really love to get dried beans and then uh, soak them in water and reconstitute them. You can also use canned black beans. Make sure you look for ones that are reduced sodium and make sure that you re rinse them under water, cold water, for one minute before using them because canned beans are really high in uh, sodium. They're packed in salt water. So it's uh, helpful to rinse them really well before you use them if you're using canned beans. So that's that, and then I have uh, some kale leaves I'm going to chop up, and this is going to give us a half a cup once it's done. And I really love using kale in this because it is thick and hearty. It stands up nicely in the baking process and adds a ton of nutrients to, to the dish. So I'm just going to give this a rough chop here. Just like that. And then I have some fresh cilantro. I'm going to go ahead and cut the stems off of that. And once I chop this up, I should have about a quarter to a third of a cup. Go ahead and add that in my dish. Then I have four ounces of roasted red pepper, and these come in a jar in the store. Already roasted, so you don't have to do anything else with it. All I'm going to do is give this a quick chop and dice it up. Just like that. And then last but not least, we want just a pinch, of course, sea salt. And I'm going to give this a good stir. Once I have this combined, we're going to go ahead and stuff our acorn squash. So let me show you what that looks like. Our squash has baked up, and you can see there's a little bit of juice in the bottom of each of these, which is fine. We're going to leave it that way, just put our stuffing right over the top of it. First, I'm going to take a fork, though, and just kind of scrape up the inside of this. Just sort of tenderize it a little bit, and that way when it's finished its baking process, well, this does two things. When it's finished its baking process, it makes it a little easier to eat, because this is already kind of softened up for you. Uh, but also it creates kind of a larger area uh, within 
there, not so, not so deep, but a little wider uh, for the stuffing. Once I have those scraped up a little, I'm just going to go ahead and layer in that stuffing that we made earlier. Just push it in there as tight as you can. I like to sort of mound it over the top and get it extra full. It will cook down a little bit during the cooking process. And last but not least, finishing touch, I have half a cup of shredded, reduced fat Mexican blend cheese. You can find it in your grocery store. Uh, it's already pre-shredded for you and it's a blend of four different low-fat cheeses. And so I'm just going to put that on there. I'm using a half cup in total. So that's about an eighth of a cup on each of these. I'm just going to top this, each of them off with a little bit of that cheese. And that is it. So now what I'm going to do is bake this one more time for 30 minutes until everything inside is nice and cooked through, melted. The cottage cheese will melt. The cheese on top will get nice and melted and a little bit brown. So that's about half an hour. And then we'll serve this up. And here we go, our twice-baked Southwest stuffed acorn squash. Very pretty, fresh out of the oven. I hope you give this a try. I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my meal, and I'll see you next time in my kitchen.